guys, if any of you have any siblings, then you will understand exactly what I'm about to talk about. Most of us have experienced being teased or egged on, and we know how aggravating it can get. I have two older brothers, Brody and Brayden, and they knew exactly how to push my buttons. Like seriously, they had it down to a science on how to aggravate me. But two particular times have gone down in our family history. In these two incidents, I became angrier than I have ever been before, and I went into a state which my brothers now call Gorilla Parkour Mode. Here are the two times I've ever gone into Gorilla Parkour Mode. Number one. Okay, setting the scene, we were at the church setting up for the Pinewood Derby. For those of you who don't know, the Pinewood Derby is an event for Cub Scouts to race cars that they made down a track. My dad was in charge of the Pinewood Derby, so my family and I were there early setting up. A while after we got there, Brayden and I had gotten bored and we were wandering around the church. Then Brayden found a piece of plastic broken off of one of those slidey room dividers. He picked it up and started waving it around, and I was all like, Whoa! Now I'm sure you all know about this universal principle regarding children. There can be multiple things around them they don't care to play with, but once someone else begins to use them, their mind goes, I gotta use that thing! And then they will ask to use that item. This principle was at work inside my head at this moment. Brayden, let me see that thing! You can see it! You're looking at it right now! See? No, I meant... <laughs> The cycle of me wanting to see the thing and Brayden continuing to tease me continued for about 20 minutes. The anger inside me was building to dangerously high levels. And all over a stupid piece of plastic that I probably wouldn't have cared about. Brayden, give me the thing now! It's my turn! Okay, fine. Relief flooded over me as I reached out to take the thing. Then right as the piece of plastic was almost in my grasp, Brayden pulled it away at the last second. Anger flooded my mind. <laughs> I had entered what is now called Gorilla Parkour Mode for the first time. The anger exploded out of my body as I began to chase Brayden down the hall at sonic speeds. Nothing would stop me. I was willing to do anything to catch Brayden. Brayden could see this, and he ran as fast as he could away from the beast that was me. I chased him into the gym where multiple tables were set up for the Pinewood Derby. I ran in and slipped on the ground, but I got up and kept chasing in my crazed rage. Brayden slid over the first table. Then, little four-foot Bryson, filled with raw, angry, cosmic power, straight up hurtled over that same table. I was gaining, and Brayden began to fear for his life. Another table was slid over, then hurtled. I drew closer to Brayden. He was headed toward a table right in front of a door for his escape. He slid over, and I attempted my final hurdle, only to have my foot catch on the table and slingshot my face into the carpet. But I wasn't finished yet. I flew out the door and rocketed down the hallway in my pursuit. Ten feet away. Five. Two. One. And at that very moment, my energy left me and I couldn't keep up. I had exited gorilla parkour mode and Brayden's life was no longer in jeopardy. I fell to the ground exhausted. But hey, after that, he let me hold the thing. Totally worth it. Okay, now for the second time I've ever entered gorilla parkour mode. This time was triggered by my oldest brother, Brody. Me and him were playing tag on a playground. Because Brody was a much bigger child than me, he still is, but I mean, whatever, he was able to avoid me in most all my efforts to tag him. After a few minutes, I was finally able to tag him. Ha! Tag, you're it! Nope, you didn't say the magic word. What's the magic? Gotta catch me again to find out! As I'm sure you can predict, this cycle continued for around 20 more minutes. I'd managed to tag him, and then he would add more magic words. At this point, Brody had begun a cycle. He would run up the stairs and wait, then I would come up the stairs, and he would go down the slide and wait. Then I would go down the slide, and he would run up the stairs. This continued for some time. The rage began to build inside me once again. The beast inside was about to come out. The magic words at that time were poop, butt, and fart. As you can see, Brody was very creative in his magic word creation process. I ran up to the top of the playground only to see Brody go down the slide again for the fifth time. I had had it. Nothing would stop me from tagging Brody at this point. <laughs> I had entered gorilla parkour mode once again. In my rage, I hurled myself off the 10-foot playground, and when I hit the ground, I flattened like a ragdoll. But that wouldn't stop me from catching Brody. I immediately sprung up in combat position, ready for pursuit. My body crunch on the ground was very amusing to Brody, and he fell to the ground laughing. No chasing was needed for catching my victim this time, as he was on the ground laughing completely helpless. I shot over to them and tagged him. 
The magic words are poop, butt, and fart. You are it. I had done it. I tagged him. But then I got caught two minutes later. Anyways, now I know what you all must be thinking. Wow, Bryson, your brothers are total jerkwads. But you're wrong. They have actually gained a respect for me, and I for them. We all love each other, but don't get me wrong. Their fear of Gorilla Parkour mode is definitely a factor in this said respect. I have not entered Gorilla Parkour mode in years, but it is still a possibility. The moral of the story is, don't tease your younger siblings too much, or the same raw, angry, cosmic power may be turned against you, as it was on my older brothers. Be careful out there, everyone. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, so this is my first end card, and I just wanted to let you know that I have no other social media other than YouTube, so be sure to subscribe to see when any content comes out. If I do get any other social media, I will be sure to let you know on this channel. And I try to make animations as soon as I can, but animation takes a while, so... <sighs> Anyways, also watch these videos, bye.